Okay, um, I'm in the bathroom now. It's the master bath, and she, Jen, has some fantastic um, things that she's done with this bathroom. And bathrooms can be really expensive, but they can also not be too crazy. And she has a good mix of both. And you're with Tell Tell what company you're with as well. I was signature kitchen and bath. Um, and we actually just opened a new showroom in Rock Hill, not very far from this place. Oh, cool. Oh, very cool. Yeah. We've got two locations. So, yeah, you had a good point um, about the size of this bathroom. So, kind of tell me about what you were thinking, your vision for this bathroom. Yeah. Um, so, this is a really good sized master bathroom, mm -hmm. but the shower um, and the tub, and a few things are really out of scale for the size of the home and the size of the bathroom. Right. So, one thing that I would propose is eliminating the shower and making it significantly bigger. Yeah. Um, kind of pulling it into the space a little bit more. Right. And, and the trend is, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say you had a good point about the trend. So, yeah. 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 The, the trend is not that you can take out these massive tubs um, because people don't take baths and they don't have the time to take another 30 minutes mm -hmm. um, bath or whirlpool bath. Right. As often. So, right. they're going to a little bit smaller tubs, um, particularly these. Freestanding I love this tub. Very popular. It. And it really gives the room a different kind of look, too. Mm -hmm. um, so I would propose doing that kind of tub mm -hmm. um, angled over here in the corner. Right. And, and even then, though they don't use tubs as much, I would like to use the tub now. I know. Yeah. Right here. I just love it. It's very welcoming and it's a nice warm feeling. So um, this is a floor plan view of what I would propose. So the tub angled over here in the corner. Mm -hmm. Larger corner shower with yep. seat. Great use of space. Yeah. I yeah. love that. And your materials, um, I love these color tones mm -hmm. and how you mix that. So kind of tell us a little bit about what those are. Yeah. So um, the trend, you know, trends come and go, but there's mm -hmm. certain things that are very timeless. Um, this kind of tile, this is a marble tile right? with the grays and the whites. That's a very timeless look. Very so pretty. With this kind of home, I would suggest something like that. Um, give it some pop with a dark cabinet. Mm -hmm. That's a very popular thing to do. Um, this is a countertop option just to kind of hold it Yeah. What is that? Um, this is actually a quartz product. Okay, so very nice. We'd be kind of mixing some natural stone with some man-made, man-altered product. Right. Um, great for durability. And then as far as the time look like continues, I would do a polished chrome finish on all the fixtures. Mm -hmm. It kind of gives a nice contrast too against you know the dark tones and the right. Um, and then an accent with the blues, those are really popular. Very. Pretty set, so pretty. And one of my favorites is this. Where did that go? So this is an accent tile. This I think is beautiful. It kind of pulls some of our blue tones. Okay. Some of the grays. Gorgeous. Um, and also actually pulls some of our chrome finishes out. Oh. But this accent tile could be used, I would use it in conjunction with our marble tile. Okay. On the walls. Beautiful. And shower too. I love the contrast in this too. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank much. you. Gorgeous. Yeah, nice to be here. Thanks for having me.